Hi everyone, this is Dan again, and in this video, we're setting up the KIM office. Now, I think this is the hardest one to set up, so let's pay real close attention. We're creating a DNS record. In this case, it's not a TXT, but a CNAME record. The host value and the actual value for the DNS we can get from the guide. So, let's just go ahead and copy and paste it. In this case, I'm writing it out. For this, I strongly encourage you just copy and paste it from the guide and replacing the values you need. Now for the second DKIM, the only difference really is just the number, so one is selected one, the other one is selected two. So once you're done with the DNS records and you've set them both to TTL or time to live to 60 minutes, 3600 seconds, we will enable DKIM in our admin office account. So let's head on over to our admin account. On the left hand side navigation menu, we'll find show all, under which we'll find exchange. Again on the left hand navigation, protection, and now on the top navigation, Deacon or DKIM. In this case you'll see me get an error, but this is because I was testing different values. Um, I had to get on the phone with the Office 365 people because apparently this can take actually up upwards of 48 hours, unlike any other DNS record, uh, that takes about 24 to 48. So I think in my case it took 72 hours. So once you've set it up correctly, following the steps in the guide and in the previous video, once you enable it, this is what it would look like right here.